Bushcrafting's fun. <laughs> I think everybody knows that by this point, right? If you follow this channel, you know we have a good time out here. We use crazy stuff, right? From little twines to big heavy ropes. And that's what we're gonna talk today about, big heavy ropes. At some point in your bushcraft career, you are going to realize you need a heavier rope. Now maybe it's not this big and heavy, maybe it's just one of my favorite things of all time, cotton clothesline rope, um, or maybe it's climbing rope, or uh, maybe it is that big heavy rope, okay? You gotta know how to tie that stuff up. Um, once you learn this, it's easy, you can try it with different types of rope and see what works best for you. Um, rope like this though, you know, you're not gonna be able to do the good old hand, wrap it around your hand kind of thing, um, it just doesn't work like that. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy technique with this and uh, get you on your way today so you can get out in the woods. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to take your rope that's probably just laying all over the place and feed it off to one side or the other. Basically, untangle it. So I'm just going to throw it off the side, keeping mental note of where that end is. I don't want it to get all tangled up as I do this. So I'm just feeding the rope across because the goal here is to get both cut ends together. Okay, so here's my other cut end. Pick up this end and I'm ready to roll. So what we're gonna do now is we are literally just going to lay this across the back of our neck. Now, depending on how big you make this, meaning the length this way is gonna be how big the wrap is at the end, okay? So with larger rope like this, you're not gonna want it small anyway, you're gonna want a good size of it. So in our case, we'll just go down to about the, my waistline, okay? Once we get down, we're going to just continue that process. So I'm gonna fold it back over, making sure the sides are even. I'm gonna fold it back over again, making sure the sides are even. And you're gonna continue this for the total amount of rope until you get close to the end. So here's the end. So I'm just gonna let it like that right now. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. So we're gonna take the rope off our neck, making sure that we index this horseshoe shape in the rope right here, okay? We want everything as nice and even as possible. What you're gonna have then is this line that's been hanging here with the loop on it, okay? You're gonna take that and you are going to begin to wrap that around the rest of the rope. Now this sometimes can be a little tedious at the beginning because you're dealing with so much rope, but you wanna make sure in bushcrafter style, okay, that you're keeping this nice, neat, and dressed, okay? So all I'm doing now is just wrapping this up like this. All right, so it's looking nice and neat now. Maybe I'll dress it up a little bit more. Now again, important that I can get through that top section. So what I'm gonna do at this point now is I'm gonna take this loop, okay, the end of the wrap, and I'm gonna go through all the rope. All right, now you're not gonna leave it like this. Some people will tie it off. Nah, I don't like that. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go over all the rope again. It should be feeling a little tight at this point. And now you have your rope super secured and ready to travel with you. Or just to hang it up in the cabin. All right, so there you go. Quick little tip for everybody today on tying up bigger, thicker, heavier ropes. I know you're gonna use this one and you're gonna love it. So if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our gear and merchandise and our classes, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, until next video, stay in the woods.